As the leaves start to change color and the weather gets colder, that means Big East play is starting soon for our fall sports. After falling out of the top 25, the men's soccer team got a huge win against Bucknell. Can this momentum continue against UConn and top-ranked Akron? Coming out of a long time off since beating Lemoyne 4-0, can the women's soccer team start conference play on the right foot against a talented Providence team? And can the women's volleyball team rebound after two tough losses against Penn State and UMBC? All this and more. My name is Liam Harding, and this is Hall Talk. <laughs> My name is Liam Harding, and alongside me today, making his Hall Talk debut, is Patrick Corsello. Now, before we get into this episode, Patrick, i got to ask, how are you doing today? I'm excited to be here. Excited to talk some sports here on Pirate TV, here on Hall Talk, and of course with you. Awesome. Now, it's already mid-September, and as the leaves start to change color and the temperature, temperature drops a tad, it means fall sports here are about to enter Big East Conference play. So kicking it off here with men's soccer team, who rebounded with a 4-1 to win against Bucknell Tuesday night. The Pirates, who were once ranked in the top 25 in the country a little over a week ago, faced two tough conference opponents, first in UConn, followed by number four, Akron. What do the Pirates have to do to come out, of top, come out on top these next two games? Well, I think, in their, like you said, in their previous three games, um, the four Tuesday, they lost two and had one draw, but then they won 4-1 uh, uh, versus Bucknell on Tuesday. So I wouldn't doubt if Coach Andreas Lindbergh uh, told the team they needed to step up. And they really did. They played a really good, strong two-way game. Uh, forward Andreas Lindbergh, uh, sorry, Andreas Borg, Andrea Borg, scored the first goal on a penalty kick. And I believe that that pretty much uh, set the momentum and the tone for the game. Yeah, watching that game, it, it felt like the first little bit of the game, it was a battle of two, the story of two defenses, both Bucknell and C uh, Seton Hall's defenses were just playing uh, hard pressure, and which is not surprising because the offense has struggled for the Pirates earlier this season. So that the backline starters of Sam Bork, Ricard Cedarberg, Constantine Donnellys, and Liam Guskey really kind of helped you know, get the, set the tone for the offense to kind of find the rhythm against a tough pressured Bucknell team. So, you know, earlier this season that this defense uh, created a new program mark going three, 332 minutes and 38 seconds without letting up a goal which is an insane thing to think about. So the fact that the defense has been playing stout all year and this offense was finally able to crack over three goals in a game, I think this is a good sign for these Pirates as they head into some big competition as you know, UConn's always a tough, formidable full here in the Big East for us in all sports. But also uh, Akron, who's new to the conference as an affiliate member this year, uh, you know, they're number four in the country. So that's just gonna be a big test. And if this offense is able to gel like they did against Bucknell, they're in for some good things. Now, sticking on to the pitch for a, a little bit, the women's soccer team has been idle now for uh, almost two weeks. They last played at Lemoyne and won 4 0 in that game, which was a home game. They start conference play against Providence in Rhode Island. And now, as a team that has struggled uh, away a little bit, you know, they haven't had the same success as they had when they played at ONT Carroll Field. What do the, the Pirates need to do to win this, uh, start off on the right foot in conference play? Well, for sure, they need to make sure that they shake off the rust. And I think conditioning will be a big part of this game um, because they haven't played in about a week and a half, two weeks. Uh, I believe it's about 11 days. So uh, the Pirates are in a similar, similar position as the men as they lost and then tied and then lost and then won. So traveling to Providence yesterday, uh, they just got to make sure they shake off the rust. And I think they'll be OK, uh, led by Natalie Tavana, who I believe turned 20 yesterday. Um, so she leads the team with 15 points, seven goals, one assist. So I think as long as they shake off the rust, um, it'll be big, and I think they'll be able to win. Yeah, the women's soccer team currently sits at 4-3-1. And, and as you said, Natalie Tavana, you know, the junior uh, midfielder, has come off electric so far this year. Seven goals, 15 points, one assist, as you said. She's made numerous Big East weekly honor roll uh, selections so far in this early part of the season. 
Uh, they have some big wins against Central Connecticut State, Binghamton, Ryder, and Lemoyne. Uh, but they do have some bad losses against Lafayette, LaSalle, and Yale. So hopefully now that this time off, they've been able to kind of gather themselves, as you said, conditioning, a big thing going on in all these different uh, sports. This conditioning is always big. Uh, but they also have some scores. You know, seven players have all registered at least one goal. So that shows that this team's able to, to distribute the ball to other players, not, Tavana, not just Tavana. So I think, you know, getting those uh, players active early in Big East play, getting their confidence up is going to be a recipe for success here in the Big East Conference. So now sw switching over to the hardwood, uh, after starting the season 5-1, and one, the Pirates have stumbled, dropping four out of their next five matches. Now those losses range from nationally ranked Penn State to teams not as proficient on the hardwood, like 3-5 and five Dartmouth, who actually got their first win against the Pirates earlier this season. Similar to other fall teams, uh, they have a, the women's volleyball team is having a high success rate at home with the first Big East matchup here at the Walsh Gymnasium against 6-6 six and six Providence. What do you think these Pirates have to do to get the desired outcome? Well, I believe uh, playing at Walsh gy Gymnasium, they haven't played at Walsh since uh, September 2nd. So I believe coming at home, again, will be a big boost to them. And I expect them to really come out hot because that crowd at Walsh Gymnasium, I mean, you've heard it. It gets really loud in there. So. Um, led by Madeline Matheny, who has got 14 kills this season. I think uh, the Pirates can take it, but it's going to be tough. Yeah, as you said, Walsh Gymnasium is kind of the secret little gem here in New Jersey as it gives the perfect home field advantage for both women's volleyball and women's basketball. So hopefully having that their first two Big East Conference games here at Walsh, here on the campus of Seton Hall, will be great and set them off on the right foot, especially because this team is so young and very talented that maybe this can be the thing that gets them in motion and helps them maybe make a run towards making the Big East tournament for women's volleyball. But that'll do it for us here on today's episode of Hall Talk. Again, my name is Liam Harding. Alongside me, Patrick Corsello. Thank you all for watching.